So today, it's recovery mode. And the DBT skills are kicking in. I'm doing them. And yeah, I'm going to vlog them. Because I'm getting a lot of good feedback on the people that do watch this. So, and those of you who don't like it, then just don't. So right now what I'm working on is just distraction. Just don't. Don't think about it. Um, it's in the hands of the ombudsman, like everything that's going on. And they're very capable, so we're just gonna let it go. Elsa, sing. And let it go. And yeah, so we're gonna play around doing things that we like to do. So, yep, Big Brother's playing on in the background, background noise. For me personally, I like to have. All the channels of my mind that usually do a million things at once for my ADD occupied. So right now the fact that I'm listening to Big Brother in the background while I do all this stuff helps ease that. So let's just share a little bit of knowledge. I mean, knowledge never hurt anybody. So one, I'm playing around at setting up this all-in-one printer scanner thing. So I was given this for free on paid forward a couple years ago and it was simply listed that they were giving away for free because it didn't come with the CD installation and they didn't know how to install the program. I didn't ask any questions. I probably should have but that was then. Well, I do know how to install stuff so that wasn't an issue for me so I did it. And it worked for a while but then I just had no use for it and I just kind of kept it. Now I'm in a place where it's useful, so let's just set it all up. Um, I happened to find ink for it, which is really funny. Um, I did know I had extra color ink. I just need to find black ink now, as you can see. And I will be going through eBay. I've kind of looked quickly. You can find them pretty cheap. Again, you gotta wait two months for them to get here from China. You know what? If I can get those two ink cartridges for six bucks compared to the 24 in the store and all I have to do is wait two months, I'm cool with that. So, we're going to let that do its thing. Now, this is an important thing. And I just want to share it because maybe not everybody knows. So, there's different kinds of power bars. And if you're going to plug in any kind of electrics, Mostly expensive ones, like a computer. Your TV. Because these days, those flat screen TVs do not come cheap. I strongly suggest, from someone who has an electrical engineering background, who understands this kind of stuff. Again, do whatever you want. But this is my suggestion. That you get a power bar that has the fault interrupters. The ones that have surge protectors. However, they don't last forever. So this is mine that I bought. I've had it for a little bit. And I do know how to check, but that's not the point. So there's the on and off button, obviously. And I have it sideways just because it's easier. And if you can see, there's... Can you see the little part there? There's a little white. No, you can't see them. There you go. That little white thing in the... It's... It's a safety thing. You can't just plug something in willy-nilly. You really have to try to plug it in correctly. One, it helps you not inverse polarity. Not that that would change anything these days, but that's not the point. So it's a safety thing. But the other thing why I find these are important is the surge protection part. And they don't last forever. And a lot of people don't necessarily know that. That's why I'm sharing. And if you look at the package when you buy one, it'll tell you for how many times it is. So what is in there is that in the circuitry in here, there is these tiny little fuses. And that's what your surge protection is. So if the surge comes through and it's over the threshold and it could potentially, you know, hurt your electronics that are plugged into it, that is a quick blow fuse and it's going to pop. And when that pops, it cuts the flow, therefore 
no electricity keeps flowing, it stops, it protects all your things. That's great. But once that fuse has blown, it no longer works. It's a one-time thing. That's why I'm saying they don't last forever. If you look on the package when you want to buy one, it'll tell you how many they have. These day and age, for about $25 when you get one like this, you get about 12 of them these days. So you have 12 different power surges that you're protected from. But once you've passed all of those, once all your quick blow fuses have, you know, done their job, then there's nothing left. So you should replace them. Now, how do you know? I haven't had the tools I can pull it apart if I want to. I don't. It suggests that it is. Every two years, change them. The $25 that it costs for that little power bar is worth the protection. It, I mean, that's your choice. But, you know, it depends what you're protecting. If what you're protecting is a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment, $25 every two years is not a bad idea. In fact, it's a very good idea. And another thing for anybody out there who have, you know, a couple thousand dollars of electronics probably already know this. But universal power source, so UPS backups, are even a more better idea. Most of you have these things in your house already. It's a little box. If you subscribe to Bell Alliant Fiber Op, they give you this little white little box that every once in a while will beep and it costs... They charge you like hundred some bucks to come change the batteries in there. Well, they're kind of useless, but whatever. Those are universal power backups. They have a... They're kind of like what I'm talking about with steroids and batteries in them that help stuff. But then again, that's all up to you. Look it up. So this is another DBT skill to deal with. You know, just keep going. Now, if you like Sensi and you know, all that kind of whatnot, I mean, go for it. Whatever you like to do, doesn't matter. For me, that's out of my budget. So here's a little trick. Does the same thing. That is a coffee cup warmer. You can get them at Dollarama for about $3. Or 4 maybe now, because inflation. And these little candles come in a jar, and they're $1 at Walmart. They do have limited selections for smells, but I mean, come on, it's a dollar, don't complain. And I have about three or four of them, different smells, and I can switch them out. So when you set them on that, it eventually melts the wax that's in the little pot. It doesn't make a mess. For one, I like that more than the Scentsy, because the Scentsy, you don't have to scoop it out from what I've been told. But no, all the mess stays in the little jar, and then it hardens again when you turn it off, and then every once in a while you just switch the jar for another one. So here are my other ones, my other smells. This one was a bigger one. I think it was on sale though, for some weird reason. I remember it was $1.97. So the reason why I bought a big one, usually it's like four bucks. But again, there's this one, a dollar. That one's a dollar. And I got this one at the dollar store for a dollar. But actually, these size candles at the dollar store are actually more expensive than the one dollar ones at Walmart. Therefore, I choose to buy the ones at Walmart. So every once in a while, I switch off the smells. And I have different smells in my house. Sometimes you find your problem, they're pretty simple. My pages wouldn't pick up because, you know, this was in the way. Alright, so we've got it all set up. And now, yes, it's a documentary about P.K. Subban on TV. Sure, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like him. Anyway, so just some more general information that people might not know. I don't know. So everybody has an IP address. Anything connected to the internet has an IP address. They are 
you know, that tells the internet world where you are. That is definitely traceable. However, there's the whole VPNs and all that kind of stuff. You, you can hide it if you know how. I don't, not going to suggest anything. I don't know what the legalities of it are, but it's doable. And now then there's something called a MAC address. Every single electronic device that has the capability of connecting to the internet has a MAC ID, an MAC ID, and that never changes. It belongs to that particular electronic device. So every printer has one, every cell phone has one, even if you have some kind of mp3 player that isn't like an iPhone or whatnot if it has the capability of connecting somehow it has a MAC address and that never changes it's kind of like its name it's its identity like our social insurance numbers in Canada it's theirs that never changes at all and for everybody out there um, this is another suggestion you know theft sometimes happens so you can find in the settings what your Mac is. If you don't know how to find them, I mean, message me, I'll help you out, that's okay. Take a picture of it for insurance purposes. Take a picture, everybody has a cell phone for the most part that takes pictures. Find the settings, take a picture of your Mac number and store it in a file. And then if ever your electronics get stolen, that's how you can prove. Now, everybody says serial number. Oh, those are hard to find because they're written, whatever. This is easier. Because, again, the MAC address is never going to change. It's always going to belong to that particular item. Take a picture of it. So if it's ever stolen, you will, and you find they recover it or whatnot, you can prove that that particular thing belonged to you because you have a picture of its name, of its SIN number. Let's just go with that. Thanks, guys. All right, so we're switching cameras. Why not? I bought it to play with it, and I didn't intend for this whole thing to become, you know. But yeah, that's my project for the day. Let's give some tips. So I'm showing you my toaster oven. However, it was a gift from my mom from Christmas, and I'm super happy that it. Um, the light is making it hurt. It's the cutest little thing. It's retro looking. I should went above and beyond when it comes to what it looks like. But however, I'm mentioning it because for me, it helps. Now, I happen to have my electricity that is included in my rent. Thank the Lord. For those of you who don't, though, this is a great thing. Now, I use the toaster oven for everything because I'm actually afraid of the oven. Long story. I caught my oven on fire last time I tried to use it. Anyway. So I use everything. However, I live alone. I'm just cooking for me or sometimes too when I have a guest. So it, it works. And in this case, it has all the temperature wise and it has a convection oven part, which is, those were my criteria. So my mother told me that was going to be my gift for Christmas. She was going to buy me a toaster oven. And I had some specifics. Again, I wanted convection bake and I wanted those two shelves so I can bake a cake. I have before, it works great. Right. Now, the reason I'm suggesting this is just that it takes a lot less electricity to cook something in a toaster oven than your actual oven. And if you're paying for your electricity, that can be a big help if you're just cooking small things that fit in there. So that's my tip. Because yeah, I'm giving tips today. And I'll put that there. And yeah, my vitamins, vitamins are good. What I need calcium because with this diet of everything free, mostly dairy free, I, I need to have the calcium. And the other ones for my eyes again. I'm eventually going to be blind. We'll deal with that when it happens then. And these little cute things are always good. They help, you know, cook things. And um, yeah, you can get them usually at the, those secondhand stores or even at discounters in uh, Saint Antoine for like a dollar. So again. Don't overspend. The other thing I'm talking about is this little cute thing. It's definitely worth it. Now let's see if you can see my floor. Now you can see the glitter, okay? I've got glitter all over my house. That is cool. It's just stuck to the floor. 
Now, my floor turns out to be dark. That's okay. What happened is at one point in time, in all the years of the people that were living here, someone tried to wax these floors and didn't quite work. So now every time they're clean, they're sticky. Whatever. I can live with that. I'm not picky. What I'm talking about is this cute little contraption. Febreze ones can do the same thing, but this one, I like it because I can put whatever solution I want to wash my floors. Of course, once a month, I take like the real mop in. Really clean. But quick cleans, these are great. You pay the one-time fee. I think they're like under $20. It's the Valida ones. It's great. But you can put whatever you want in that chamber for solution. I use, you know, pretty much 90% Lysol and a little bit of water. And then the cleaning pads, it comes with three cleaning pads, two that look with the blue scrubby part that are under there. And then they have another one that I've never really used because I think it's for like floors, I don't know. However, they're stuck there on Velcro and you can wash them in your washing machine. So it's pretty much a one-time fee deal to clean your floors. And you know, cause things are all reusable. And I've had this one for about three years now and it still works great. So for $20, I believe that this is a great item to buy. It's reusable, it's great for the environment cause you're not throwing anything out. And it works, I am going to scrub my floors. You know, and it's gonna help a little bit. But yeah, I have glitter everywhere. It's stuck on all the floor because I just love glitter and it's all over my house. And you know what? It's okay. Because unicorns live here. Okay. So if you were like super pale, it probably All right. So you can see it's melted. It has an automatic shut off, by the way, for safety, which is great. And another little safety thing that are amazing are these little candles. So they look like real candles. But they're battery powered. They were all gifts so for my mom, and right, that's uh, so next is the it's my goth party. I need to get her fixed. She has a tattoo and color. stuff. I don't know how to get her fixed, but she just sits there. But yeah, I have a bunch of these uh, battery powered candles. For me, that's a good thing. Oh, I liked, like, a little bit and then for Christmas that I got at a Salvation Army for two dollars. And I'm sorry for the person that like tucked it underneath everything else because they were saving it. I found it. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Battery powered candles are great because I'm afraid you know leave them on. They'll burn your house down. And anybody that has cats, um, cats seem to like. like. So yeah. And then there's a little cool thing here. That's a beer stein that. My real father, the wrestler, brought back from Germany while he was wrestling in Germany for those two years. And now I have it. This is something that my aunt made. It's called my Nenner Bear. And yeah, these are my daily meds. I take these at two and these at four. They're there so I don't forget them. Um, my grandmother had a fake mink coat or something and she passed it on to my aunt when she passed away and my aunt it's not a style you know so she did this awesome thing where she made everybody uh, a bear a, a teddy bear out of that coat so that is something that was my grandmother's and is in a different way that I can put it out there to think of her it's an amazing idea for anybody else out there again that wants to remember a loved one. Alright, so let's talk like we're all little children and we don't know anything. Because as a woman, I'm used to people talking to me like I don't know anything. Guess what? Girls can know stuff just as much as men can. And, you know, I'm a daddy's girl. My dad taught me stuff. So this is just looking at what I personally think should be, like, a staple for every single woman out there to fix stuff. Now, we all have a multi-purpose, you know, multi-tooled screwdriver that has all those different head things. Okay, that's great. It's great. However, I suggest that you invest in some of these. 
Now there's a whole set. You can get them at Princess Auto and I think it's like 12 bucks for a whole set. And it's a little bit easier when you deal with a whole set of the actual sizes. Just in case. One, you know, things are longer, depends to get into the spots. It's just a lot easier. This alone will cost you about 12 bucks. I can get a whole set. Sometimes Princess Auto stuff works just fine, okay? I have fixed many things with Princess Auto stuff. Including the stand that holds this phone up when I do videos. It comes from Princess Auto. And the ones that have the black metallic, the tip is metallic, which helps. <coughs> Trusty measuring tape. Now this one is old. I, it's probably as old as I am. I don't know. You know, it was one of my dad's and when I moved out on my own, he just... That was what his Christmas gift my first year living on my own was a toolbox from my dad. Which, you know, was kind of sweet and I kind of like that. So I threw that in there because it was one of the many ones that he has. And if anybody knows my dad, um, he never uses them anyway. Because, yes. I think I've told this story before, but let's go again. My dad and I once built a dog house. Because we had... A dog. We got a dog. It was my puppy. And she didn't have a dog house. We didn't have a garage yet. So we built it in the basement. And it was gorgeous. It matched the house. It was great. However, my father decided that um, he didn't... He didn't measure the doorway before he built the dog house. So we couldn't get the dog house out of the basement. Those are just a few examples. Anyway, let's just... Okay, pencils. Pencils are great, you know. You need to write little lines where you want to put stuff. It's great. Same thing for these little hammers. You can actually get this at the dollar store for about, I think, $1.50, $2.50, something like that. I don't know. Prices might have gone up. Inflation. There's nothing for a dollar at Dollar Rama anymore. But, yeah, it works. It's got a good weight at the end. That's what you want. They actually have a little smaller version, which I do have a little one as well. But, you know, this is what you need. I mean, you're going to put pictures up and buy a whole thing of just nails. I mean, I, they put my pictures up. They hold stuff together. I just use them around. That was um, a few dollars for a whole bunch of them. Now, this was something else my dad gave me, which I thought was a cute idea. Um, it has, if you put the batteries in there, there's a, an emergency light and it stays on if you want. It flickers in the back. Um, and then you open it up and... So it's got these tiny little tools, which is great to get into little things. Now, seeing that for college I needed, like, the actual tools, I, I do have the whole set out back, but that's not the point. For just regular normal people, this will work. These are the little ones that you can, like, fix your glasses with and stuff. So super awesome, right? And then they have all these different bits, and they go into this handle, and then there's a little bit of these. Just in case, you know, it's the basics of what you might need for the world. So, my tip to you is at least these things would pretty much be able to fix things. If you need more than this, you either need someone else to come in and fix it, or if you know how to fix it, you already have the extra tools because you're that kind of person. Either way, I think this is like your, your basic. All right. Alright, so we're going to keep going with little tips and tricks, because why not? I think that's what I'm into today. We've got YouTube playing in the background, and I have an ad blocker, so I'm not hearing anything negative that is going on in this world. However, I did log in to Facebook once to share the verdict in that case, because I think it's important. We're not going to go there. This is an Ethernet cable, and I needed one, because... For a while, my Wi-Fi card on my computer just wasn't working because Windows 10 updates are... Now, instead of paying a lot of money for someone to fix it, even though I eventually fixed it on my own, but not the point, I decided to just plug it into an Ethernet cord. So I went to look at Walmart. They had really, really short ones. And then anything that they had the length that I needed. So I needed about 20 feet. To figure it out after anyway anything that i needed was like 30 to 50 bucks which was out of my budget so i went to great canadian dollar store 
this is my trick. Anybody that's looking for odd electronics, things that'll fit into something that you've had for like five or so years, because the rules in electronics is, if it's more than five years old, it is considered obsolete. However, this camera I'm talking on is 10 years old as a model and it still beats the new one spec-wise and review-wise than the new one, not the one. So I went to the Great Canadian Dollar Store I knew that trick. And I got this Ethernet cable for $3. Yeah, three bucks will work. And I just needed a short one because I bought a one on AliExpress. So I needed, you know, to wait the two months for it to come here. Because I got 100 feet, I think, or 10 meters, 10 meters, whatever. I don't know. I don't know lengths. It turned out to be too long, not the point. And it was something like $7. So I waited two months for something super cheap. I'm cool with that. It still works. It's still Cat 5 or Cat 6, which is the standard. And to be called that, it has to meet the standard, which is fine. Whether it has name brand or not, the standard doesn't change. You're paying for the name. So this was $3. It was 15 feet. It sort of kind of made it. I had a little bit of jump, so I had to kind of like scoot it across the floor and under the couch to the... But you know what? It's okay. So now I have an extra 15 feet one.